state health officials held a briefing today to update the public on the spread of the monkeypox virus. The virus causes a disease that resembles smallpox. It causes flu-like symptoms such as fever, headache, and muscle aches. It also causes rashes and lesions. Health officials today talked about who should be concerned about this disease and what you can do to protect yourself. Rainer Rodriguez has details. On Thursday, the first case of monkeypox was reported in Bear County. There are now 43 cases across Texas, the majority of cases in Houston, Dallas and Austin. Nationwide, the case count has surpassed the 1000 mark. Is Corpus Christi ready to address it if it if we do have cases, confirmed cases here? Candy Duke says she's not personally worried about it, but is concerned about the effects of monkeypox in her grandchildren. Children can be at risk if they are touching bedding or anything that could have um, fluid from fluid or respiratory secretions from those lesions or from infected people. Monkeypox is passed through close personal contact, skin to skin, usually intimate contact. There are some cases, um, not a whole lot, but some cases of, resp of it being in respiratory secretions, but it has to be prolonged exposure to somebody. You know, less than six feet, you're with them longer than 15 minutes. While there's been no reports of confirmed cases in Corpus Christi, Dr. Kim Onifrak says they have tested a handful of individuals. It's a um, test for orthopox virus, which the monkeypox is a part of. It's a test we normally don't do a whole lot of. So if that test is positive, then usually we'll go ahead and start treating it like monkeypox and then send it to the CDC. As far as treating a person for monkeypox, if there is a confirmed case, then we have to consult the CDC because there is possibly one antiviral medication. So not everybody can get it and you can't just get it because you've been exposed. It's the same thing with testing. You have to meet criteria. Other than that, it's just about managing a person's symptoms. Tylenols and ibuprofen for fevers, for body aches, trying to avoid touching the lesion. You know, you can um, have, you're pretty infectious from two to four weeks, depending on how long the rash lasts. Though public health officials say the risk to the public is low, experts recommend that you pay attention to your symptoms. With monkeypox, usually the rash comes first, and sometimes that's all they have is just this rash. Um, and then maybe later, a few days later, they might have the fevers, the body aches. Reina Rodriguez, Chris 6 News. Yeah, pay attention to your symptoms, as uh, Reina just mentioned there. Monkeypox illness typically lasts two weeks to a month. It can be painful and require hospitalization. The fatality rate is 3 to 6 percent fatality rate. Children are at greater risk from dying from that disease.